what's going on everyone you're welcome once again to david data channel and on today's video we are continuing our dbt tutorial series if it's your first time or your returning viewer thanks so much for coming i'd like you to please hit the like button and the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you can be notified once a new video drops in all right so on today's video we're going to be talking about dbt packages so the link to the dbt playlist can be seen above and also in the link in the description below as well all right so what are dbt packages dbt packages are something you can relate to libraries programming language libraries right so you have libraries that um, software engineers for a language like python for example would have built because they've used it to solve um a certain kind of problem that almost every other person would or some people can also encounter as well while they are coding as well and um, so packages helps you to leverage these dbt projects into your own personal project so you don't have to reinvent the wheels you can just um take that project that they've worked on and install it into your project and use it to solve your own problem so basically in dbt libraries are like packages right uh, dbt packages are so powerful because so many analytical problems we've encountered are shared across several organizations so the problem you're facing you're, you're currently having your organization somebody else would have or most likely would have had that kind of problem and they built they solved the problem with, with a dbt project and then built a package of that project all right so example would be, be like transforming data from a consistently structured SaaS data set uh turning adwords data or facebook data into a consistent format you know that kind of a thing so how do we um uh, install or use dbt package how do you add dbt package to your project so you add a package.yaml file to your dbt project you should be on the same level as your dbt uh project.yaml file all right so we'll come to our project all right so we create the packages.yaml file all right so after that um, so we specify the package we want to add and also the version now um, dbt hops packages is a registry for dbt packages right packages that are listed on dbt hop can be installed like so so we're going to go to our packages hub and then um, we are going to install dbt utils dbt utils is a um, package that has that contains macros that can be re reused across your dbt project this macros has a several interesting stuff that you would um, frequently use in your dbt project you have generic tests you have um, macros that could help you get column values and other stuff like that you have uh, macros that help you generate sql for date spine duplicating your over data group by star and different stuff like that yeah so you could check them out so how do we install this we're going to just take this into our packages.yml file so take this in here so our packages.yml file And I paste this in here. So specify packages. You put the package you want, and then you um, specify the version, and then you save. This is using DBT Cloud. The same also applies if you're using DBT Core. And then you run DBT Devs. So DBT Devs is that command, as we'll see here. And number three, you run DBT Devs to install the package or packages. Packages get installed in DBT Packages directory. And by default, this directory is ignored by Git to avoid it du duplicating the source code for the package. And this package, you can find it in this dbt packages folder. This is dbt utils. You find everything in here. And when you want to use it, you can check the um, usage of anyone. So let's say I wanted to create, um, let's say, date spine that shows all the dates for a period of time. Yeah, so I will DBT utils date spine. So let me just take this and um, let's see. And so I'll go to models, I'll go to staging. I'll call this um, dateteam.sql. So if we run this guy as is now. So you can see that it has brought out dates uh, without me doing anything. I just imported this guy and he helps me bring out all the dates from Indie 
from 1st of January 2019 to 1st of January 2020. So lots of beautiful things you can do with CBT packages, right? And then um, DVT package hubs as well is a place where you can find every package you want to use that could solve your problem. All right, so how do you uninstall your DVT package? All right, so you just come to this um, directory, DVT underscore packages, and you simply delete I simply delete this guy. Once I delete this guy, once delete it, it's gone. So that's how you can uninstall your DVT um, package. So I hope you got a thing or two out of this video. Thanks so much for watching. See you again in the next video. Bye.